Hi guys, Kelvin here. So today we will be doing another live unboxing session of this baby right here. This is by Wins Mobile. This is the second smartphone that I'm going to review by them. This is called the Genius V. Um, this is actually a step up, a higher specs compared to the 300 ringgit phone that we review in our YouTube channel. And Genius V, removing the box, what this is here. Two hours talk time from just five minutes of charging. So we're going to see the box around. So they have the fingerprint scanner. So they have the reverse charging, 6000 mAh battery fast charging support not sure um, whether it's quick charge or not 5.5 uh, inch display 64 bit cpu 3 gig ram 3 gig ram is a minimum requirement this is good the storage is 32 gigs and it supports 4g you see that the front camera is 5 megapixels the main camera is 30 megapixels so yeah running android 6.0 so we're gonna slide this open and see the device itself I'm going to put the device at the side first. Comes with its hard cover, which is good. I want hard cover here. This is this is the like a temp, a very thick. This is a very thick screen protector. I think it's tempered glass. Not sure. I had to double check. And also a softer um, screen protector right here. So they have two screen protector. I want to check whether the phone has a screen protector on. Um, yeah, they also have a screen protector right here. So that means it comes with three screen protectors. The currently the one that is up here is a thick one. So they have a soft one, a thin one, and also a thick one. That's good. Aside from that, we see that they have your standard warranty card and the start guide. Pulling this out. Oh, I just noticed one thing. Pulling this out has the pin right here. Pinching this, what we have is the USB cable standard and also the charging thing right here. I want to see how many amps. 5 volts, 7 volts, 9 volts at 2 amps. So this is fast charging. No mention about Quickcom 2.0 or 3.0. But 5 volts, 2 amps, much appreciated. Minimum requirement that I, I set for everything. Two more components right here, which is the USB on the go. This will aid you when it comes to reverse charging and also running pen drive and SD cards from the thing right here. Next up right here is the uh, earphone standard. On to the main baby right here. It's an octa-core 1.5 gigahertz. I'm guessing it's using MediaTek. So yeah, smart gesture, air gesture, fingerprint, a brand by Malaysia. Flip it with the side. So, oh, I just noticed. No kidding, I thought it was a case. <laughs> Okay, uh, you guys, okay, so this package, I'm not kidding, three screen protectors, one here, two earlier, right here, a thick one and a thin one, this is a silicon case and they provide you hard covers, like literally, they provide so much protection for their product, I mean, this is a, a smartphone brand that is a Malaysian smartphone brand, I wish other countries like do that also. So I'm gonna take out the screen protector like that. Okay, pinch it out, put it aside. So the screen protector does not cover the edge as much as I want, but anyway the edge is a bit curved so it's fine. So on the back right here you can see the autofocus camera, the single tone LED and the fingerprint scanner right here. So I'm gonna on the phone. Hopefully there's some juice. And then we can see whether Yep, it has some juice, so I'm gonna put the silicon case on it. This is just nice. I didn't notice at all. Really, I didn't notice. I was trying, I thought it was a plastic and I tried to remove it, but I didn't until I saw these cross lines right here. Let's go see what else they have right here, whether they have bloat wares, etc. I don't see much bloat wares. Yep, there's not much bloat wares. It's just basic apps with um, themes on it. Feels on the hand is big, is a little bit heavy. But um, let's remove the silicone case and see anything else. So there is no indication you can remove the back cover at all. So the only way to access the SIM card tray is by the pin earlier. Where is the pin? They included a pin right here. So I'm going to access the pin tray right now. So the pin tray right here is a big one. So it supports SD and two SIM cards right here. So it's either two SIM cards simultaneously or one SD plus one uh, SIM card. So you like the earlier one, earlier phone that we reviewed in the past, it can run two SIM cards and one SD card simultaneously. That means three 
uh, cards whereas here it looks like it only can run uh, either one okay now the camera is faster so I'm gonna go near focus then I go far focus okay so it's a contrast based uh, autofocus I'm gonna try that yep so I'm focusing at well little area and also low light Okay, not that bad, it's decently um, speed, so no laggy there, so I have to check the video quality later on. Let's try to play video, see whether there's any thing. So video is touch focus. Okay, it changed the exposure quite well. Yeah, it changed the exposure quite well and quite fast. But the focusing is a bit slow, unless you touch shutter, so it's fine. This dot right here, you can actually press it and you can lock the screen. Okay, so I'm going to flip it up. So you can go to game mode. What's game mode? Menu pack key will be locked to avoid. Oh, okay, okay. So let's disable. You can change to read mode. Screen will always be on. Remember to turn off the mode to save power when quit reading. Okay, got it. So I'm going to off it. Oh, there's floating music. Okay, floating music. Alright, got it. Let me try to do clean task. So basically, this is more of your shortcut wheel. So you got clean task, float video. Um, oops, where's that thing? Gesture recognize. Please paint a gesture. C. Gesture unrecognized. M. Okay, so that means I had to go set the gesture later on. So I think the gesture will set. Let's try to do the settings right now. Okay, let's do it together. Security. Okay, fingerprint is where. Set up security lock. Choose your backup method pin. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, fingerprint entered. Done. Okay, it recognized now. So it can unlock easily. That's good. So I want to try the gesture. Oh, this is not easy. Gesture not recognized. Oh, you had the add gestures. Okay. Um, let's say camera. Done. Gesture safe. Let's try that again. Maybe the default gestures does not work easily, so you have to use the your own gestures. So I'm gonna press C. Yay! It works! Haha! <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Uh, let's try that again. Gesture recognized. C. Yay! It works! Okay, let, let's do more gestures. I'm, I'm finding fun right now. So, gesture recognize. Go to settings. Um, let's add gesture for example... Uh, gallery. No, let's say... Hmm, settings. Let's do settings with S. Okay, discard. That S does not look like an S. Let me try again. Settings. Okay, done. Okay, let's go try that again. Gesture. Hey, it works! <laughs> okay, let's try another gesture. This is fun. This is really, really fun. Sorry, I I'm a guy who likes gesture a lot. Emails is really important. So emails, maybe... Should I do a Z? Actually, you can not only use alphabets, you can use like, you know, different icons, a different style of writing. So let's try that again. Zoro. Set hey, settings. <laughs> Let's try that again. Did I set it settings? I thought it's email. Yeah, email. Okay. It got a little bit confused there, so got to email. Feels solid. It feels heavy. Oh yeah, we never see the front-facing camera yet, whether it's good or not. So let me turn around the camera. So the camera looks much better than the three hundred ringgit earlier. So you can see that. Um, the, the main camera is right here and also the live video is right here <laughs> so it's my iPhone and the uh, Sony camera right here so front camera facing camera is way better than the 299 ringgit phone this is way sharper 5 megapixel makes a lot of difference so this is the Genius V right here so you have you guys have to wait for the un the real review video and I'm going to show you guys uh, the opinion and yeah just check, wait out for the review video. Bye guys, see you guys next time.